Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how to make chocolate brownies. It's super easy, and it's going to take not too long to prepare and to make. So, let's not waste any more time and get right into this Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we are going to be making brownies. Uh, it's been a while since I <laughs> made brownies, but I just have a little craving for it at the moment. So I am actually going to proceed with putting this recipe together. Now, the first thing I did was turn my oven on to 350 degrees and I'll let that preheat. I also greased the 8x8 uh, glass. And the ingredients dish. you're going to need for this recipe is you're going to need about three quarter cup of cooking oil, three quarter cup of flour, one cup of brown or white sugar, three eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. I have half cup of cocoa, whichever cocoa you prefer. I like to just use the dark cocoa and some vanilla essence. Next, you're gonna need two bowls, two average size bowls. The first one, you're going to add um, your oil to it. You're also going to add your sugar to this bowl and you're also going to add your vanilla essence. You're going to use about a tablespoon of vanilla essence and you're going to also be adding that to the bowl. Now to make your brownies, I prefer you can use a whisk, which I am going to use for the dry ingredients, but I prefer to use my hand mixer to start blending this in. So I'm gonna start giving this a blend for about a minute just to incorporate these ingredients and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. So I have the sugar and oil mixed in with the vanilla essence there. That's been going for about a minute and a half. So you could add your eggs one by one. However, I don't see the point in doing so for this kind of a recipe. So I'm gonna add all three of my eggs in there and I'm gonna start whisking them. I'm gonna give it a whisk for about a good minute and then I'll proceed with more time if needed and I'll let you know if more time is needed. So we're gonna- Yeah guys, so I just blended that in for about a minute and as you can see, it's been really, you know, mixed in nicely. I'll show you the texture right there yeah so we've got a nice smooth consistency so next we're gonna move forward we're gonna set that aside for now and we're gonna move forward with our next container and to that we're gonna add our flour our salt our cocoa and our last ingredient there which is going to be our baking powder and this is where i use my hand whisk and then I mix to incorporate these ingredients together. So now that we have our dry ingredients mixed in nicely, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about half of it, half of this dry mixture into our egg mixture there, our egg and sugar mixture. And we're gonna whisk this in and then we're gonna add the other half, whisk that in as well, and I'll be back to show you what the whole thing looks like. I'm just gonna probably be doing this for about a minute, and then I'll add the other one and do it for another minute, and I'll be back to show you. Hey y'all, so I'm just back to show you that I mixed in the dry with the wet ingredients. As you can see, it's a nice, as you can see how it's dripping there, it's a nice consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin. Um, here we go, I'm gonna use a spatula to show you. So as you can see, it's a good consistency. Yeah, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna transfer the contents of this bowl into our greased. So to our grease pan, we're gonna just start pouring our batter into here. So after you transfer it, all of your dough in there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your lid off the desk and you're gonna pat it down like that. You're gonna kind of drop it about an inch off your table. And that, what that does is those little air pockets, those little air bubbles you see there, it helps them to surface and the cake to stay, you know, without those pockets there. So I do that for about five or six times and then I'm gonna stick this in the oven 
Yeah, so I'm gonna be placing this in the oven just on the middle rack at 350 degrees and we'll be back to check it when this is all done. So yeah, this is just going in now. We're gonna set our timer for 30 minutes, actually 25, and then we are going to come back and check it and see if it needs that extra five minutes. So yeah, we'll be hey, back. Then. So my timer just went off on the brownie for 25 minutes. I'm just going to take it out and then we're gonna check it to see if it's solid enough to remain out of the oven. Uh, we're just gonna use a toothpick to check the core of this. Make sure it's not wet. Uh-oh, so it is wet still as you can see here. So after 25 minutes, you see the wetness there? So based on that, we're gonna put this back in the oven, same 350 degrees, but we're gonna put it in there now for another 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll be back to check it in 15 minutes. So we'll set a 15 minute timer and hopefully that will be enough. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's been a total of 40, almost 45 minutes of this brownie being baked. So I just took it out of the oven and this should be it. Yeah, so as you can see, there's finer grains, which is what we want. We don't want this to be dripping wet. So I would say safely 40 minutes at 350 would give you these results. I'll be back to cut this when this cools down. Hey guys, so the time has come to actually cut into this brownie and see what we got. guys so the results are nice I'm just trying to show you inside here and how it's moist and yet it's still quite firm yeah so it's got a nice little crunch to the top too which is nice the cake itself or the brownie I should say is nice So I'm just gonna serve this up with a nice cold glass of milk and yeah, so that's the results of the brownie. The bottom is pretty nice as well. If you wanted to bring this up a notch, you could put chocolate chips inside, you can um, put nuts, whatever nuts you like. Um, yeah, but for me, I just wanted to have brownies and that's what I'm gonna do. See you next time.